Get it? You guys get it? <laughs> oh, oh, some of you get it. Oh, you guys are sharp. Yes. Uh, I came up with that all by myself. Today we have some of the most interesting performances ever, and we, it's going to be the best traveling circus that we are still legally allowed to call a circus. <laughs> so prepared. Now I am dropped in a few, and I will be your. Uh, I will be your guide through this magical journey. So, prepare to be amazed, for we have danger, danger. intrigue, intrigue, and Harry Wynn! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I would just like to inform you that there are no refunds on this magical journey. No refunds! <laughs> None! <laughs> so, to, let's get us started. And so for our first act, we will start with the most promising act in our lineup. <gasps> Me? <laughs> uh, wait a second. We're supposed to go first. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to introduce my performance. Okay, well, excuse me, I'm trying to act in your damn circus. Uh, my wire goes first. This is not the time nor the place to... No, no yes, uh, Who's that comes first? No, so you should just give us our slot. You will have your chance! Yeah, our chance is now. Uh, now. Hello, everybody! Hello, hello! Hello! Oh, today I will present to you one of the world's greatest oh. puppet tricks. Yeah, enjoy oh, the tricks, folks. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> oh, now, see, we've already got our volunteer here for my lovely magic trick. So let me get my saw here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, and ta-da! Thank <laughs> you. 
You must use the force. 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 Time ago, far, far away, long time ago, far, far away. Kiss the Wookiee, kick the toy, fly the Falcon through an asteroid, till the princess is annoyed. This is spaceships, this monsters, this Star Wars, we love it, come and help me, Obi-Wan. X-Wing fighter and the blaster gun Dance with Ewok, so what fun This is spaceships, it's monsters, it's Star Wars, we love it Get in there you big furry oaf I couldn't care less what you smell I take orders from only me May you like it back in yourself, your highness, your worshipfulness, your highness, your worshipfulness. No one cares if you upset a droid. Nobody cares if you upset droids. Don't tear your arms out of socket. Nobody cares. I suggest a new strategy. Let the Wookiee win. That's because nobody cares if you upset a droid. I was gonna go to Tashi. Station for power converters. Now I guess I'm going nowhere. It just isn't fair. Wookie. Someone move this walking carpet. 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 Kiss your brother, kiss your brother, kiss your sister, kiss your brother. Well, I guess you don't know anything about women. Kiss your brother, kiss your brother, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I'm your father, he's useless to resist. Come with me, my son, we will rule. Since your feelings, it is true. So you have a twin sister who Obi-Wan was wise to hide. If you will not turn, then perhaps she will give in to your hate. You are mine. Far, far, far away, long, long, long time ago. Far, far, far away. Kiss the Wookiee. Kiss the Wookiee. Don't take it all. This is spaceships, it's monsters, it's Star Wars, we love it. It's true, we so love it, we do not survive. So let's go, 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 so we can fly. Buns, guns, and stars, like the stars, like the stars, the time. The dark side. May the force be with you all. John Williams is the man. Okay. 
York. We demand all of your attention. He couldn't just give us just a few hours? Never. You have a many us, and you shall pay. Us? Well, Ted Quinn is the devil of all of your attention. All of what I say. But Siri, you have to understand. We just... Time. <laughs> <laughs> we just need time to finish our papers. That's how dare you... Bing's not gonna come. 
come down and help you with this one? We do not speak of pain! <laughs> of today and yesterday with your host Marvin the hey, Monkey. Hey God. Hey everybody, I'm Marvin. Hey, do you love music? Do you like to cut the sounds of Frank Sinatra or Dean Martin or country music with Garth Brooks or George Strait? Or how about pop music with Justin Timberlake or Maroon 5? Well, we couldn't get most of those people because, well, they're all dead and the other people just cost too much. But we got people almost as good. Like, here's a little song I used to do back in the 60s. I'm telling y'all, this four CD set will keep you smiling from ye ear to ear. And ladies, we even got something specially for you. He's known as the Barry White of Roosters. And when I said Barry, I don't mean Obama. 
I'm, te I'm telling y'all ladies, this cot will keep you turned on for hours. Please help me welcome the suave and the cool Rodney Cooper. Hello everyone, this is your Action News reporter with all the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket. There seems to have been some disturbance here. Pardon me, sir, did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. I was standing over by the tomatoes and here he come, running through the pole beans, through the fruits and vegetables, naked as a jaybird. And I hollered over to Ethel, I said, don't look, Ethel! And it's too late, she'd already been in the sinks. Here he comes. Boogie there, boogie there. There he goes. Boogie there, boogie there. Oh, yes, they call him the street. Look at that, look at that. Fastest thing on two feet. Look at that, look at that. He just. <laughs> what the hell was that? Damn, it's that damn puppet streaker again. Security, security. Oh, well. Now, here's some family friendly stuff. Here's my best friend, Sheldon the Singing Snake. so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side rainbows are visions but only illusions and rainbows have nothing to hide so we've been told and some choose to believe it I know they're wrong, wait and see Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers, and me Thank you for joining us and please buy our CD set Now here's some more words from Puppet God <laughs> Puppet Time Records. This four CD set can be yours for only three payments of $19.95, plus shipping and handling. And if you call now, we will throw in for free the box it came in. Or absolutely nothing. It's up to you. Just call now, 1-800-787-7387. That's 1-800-PUPPETS. But wait, that's not all. The first 250 callers will get a signed autograph from Marvin. And even though it looks like crap, it's just because, well, he's a monkey and all the puppets seem to be left-handed. So call now. Puppet Time Records. 1-800-787-7387. That's 1-800-PUPPETS. Shame. I go down 
rung after rung, and still the oxygen immerses me. The blue light, the clear atoms of our human air, I go down. My flippers cripple me. I crawl like an insect down the ladder, and there is no one to tell me where the ocean will begin. First the air is blue, and then it is bluer, and then it is green, and then black. I am blacking out, and yet my mask is powerful. It pumps my blood with power. The sea is another story. The sea is not a question of power. I have to learn alone. I turn my body without force in this deep element. Catharsis 
supply is dense from the speck. Threaded through our skin, we pluck along to the sounds of music we only speak about. I no longer have to look up into my memories. I can see into your eyes. Thank you. From this side, we are motionless. Motionless in this abyss, we lay against the lines. Life sustaining yet. Desperately, we extend our bodies for warmth. Within each other. Let's keep the power to our fear. Your village is down in my home. I am proud to be a human being. It pumps my blood with power. I told my wrath, my wrath hid edge. And grace would grant the pain. Make him as almost as possible. Believe the only faith that's left. In today's world, people face all sorts of hardships. There are financial burdens, health issues, inability to know what the kids are listening to these days. However, even with all of these problems that Americans typically face, there is a subculture in our society that faces all of these problems and more. Puppets. Puppets are considered by many Americans to be an inferior citizen, and their problems differ the world over in different countries. Most of the time they're considered a weird form of entertainment, and people who make and puppeteer them are considered strange and have a useless major. However, today, we're gonna to be exploring a lot of their problems and talking to real world people about the issues the puppets face in everyday life. Good evening, America. Tonight, we're going to begin talking about puppet rights. Our first guest speaking with us is Miss Milady Moonbeam de Monmeray. De Monmeray. De Monmeray. De Monmeray. Ms. Moonbeam is the foremost advocate for puppet rights and is currently trying to pass a bill through the Senate that deals with seat belts on puppet school buses. Ms. Moonbeam, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Tell me about some of the challenges that Puppet America faces. So, so many challenges. Every challenge a human being with their blood has to face, a puppet has to face, but as a puppet. What is it like for you being in an inter-puppet relationship? It's very difficult sometimes. Uh, we, we face a lot of judgment. Um, sometimes I don't really quite know uh, how to act around her. Um, she's not into a lot of you know, human things. She's just as much a, a human being as you, are, you and I are. And That's true. I mean, yeah, it may be a little weird, and, and, and sometimes like the things may be a little awkward for other people to see, but it, it's, it's really not a, a, as different than, than walking to the supermarket and seeing someone picking up grapefruits and, and then asking them what that smell like. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you support equal rights for puppets? Yeah. What, what would you say has been the contributing factor to you being so accepting and progressive towards puppets in a society that is usually very negative? Um, well, I, I don't know, I smoke a lot of puppets. You smoke a lot with puppets? Yeah. So, okay, smoke. Smoke the weed with yeah, the marijuana? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, just to be clear, just to be clear. Okay, so smoking the marijuana with the puppets, okay. If there is one thing that you could tell America to do to help progress puppet rights, what would your opinion be? Um, uh, make weed legal for puppets, yeah. Make weed legal for puppets. Is yeah. puppet weed, like, different from, like, legal for humans too, or? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so just legalize weed. Yeah. <laughs> so just, okay, cool, so thank you. Legalizing weekend. Thank you for your time and your opinions regarding puppet rights. What can regular America do to help progress puppet rights? Be aware.
Be aware that they are out there around you. They're in the streets and some fall through cracks and some fall through literal cracks because they are very small. You don't even know they're there. Finger puppets. Would you say that awareness is the biggest factor in helping progress puppet rights or are there other factors as well? I think that I have faith in the American people that if they were aware of what puppets have to go through, that they would force their unwilling government to help the less fortunate. So your main goal is education then? Yes, education is key. And the foremost way to start conversations about puppet rights, many say. Exactly. I want to take a moment now to talk about the new book that you have. It's entitled, The Hands Have Touched Me, The Plight of Puppets from Around the World. Currently, it's on the puppet bestseller list from Barnes & Noble, and it's even number 83 or so on the uh, regular American bestselling list. So it's doing very well right now, very well. Can you tell us, Ms. Moonbeam, about some of the themes presented in the book and what it's really about? I think that my book really shines a light in the cracks around our society. Some cracks literally in puppets' faces. Problem, yes. A large one in the puppet community. It's a very large problem, yes. This book overall is more of a traveling around the world, speaking to many different puppets from different places around the world. And in some societies, older puppets are seen as having more value. We don't do that in America. They are seen as trash. You know, it's hard out there for a waitress, okay? We only work for minimum wage, puppet minimum wage, okay? I don't have time to go back to school. I have to live my life in a restaurant. That is my truth. That's what I have to live with every day. Now, who else has bigger problems than a puppet? Boo. Wow, puppet problems are way more, way more intense than I even thought, apparently. So, so Ms. Moonbeam, it's a good thing that you wrote this book so that the community at large can be aware of these events. Absolutely. We can all come together and live in a society where we can all be equal and puppets will have voting rights. Puppet suffrage. Yes, chapter 22, if I'm not mistaken. In my book, Birth Control, <laughs> Our Right to Choose Abortion. Puppet reproductive rights have been very iffy for some congressmen as they're not actually sure how puppets have sex. They don't know. See? Awareness. We can make puppet condoms. You know, some puppets are using bags, hefty bags, because they don't sell condoms. Hefty bags. For their puppets? For their puppets. If I'm not mistaken, America, things like this have caused record numbers of illegitimate children in the puppet community, especially in situations of low income, and even more so in situations where there is no puppet government assistance. I would just like to say on behalf of all these puppets out here that there ain't no puppet welfare, there ain't no puppet social security, I can't get no puppet food stamps, there ain't no puppet daycare for my kids, there ain't no puppet nothing. And all them other citizens out there get puppet daycare, and what, I can't? Like I ain't good enough? Like someone's better than me? Shoot, none of these puppets know. We need puppet social security, everybody matters. Mm. Ain't nobody know. Ain't nobody know, no. And they ain't gonna do nothing about it. No. Before we let you go, Miss Moonbeam, I just wanted to ask one more question. Is there anything we can do to help your seatbelt bill pass? You know, send letters to your congressman. You know, uh, just become involved in your community. Do we have puppet congressmen? Do puppets have congressmen? I'm not really sure. Can we check that? Can we check puppet government? Please? I want next take, think. Well, well, I think that it's more for uh, the people, the squishy kind. But for us puppets, just, you know, be strong and continue to fight for what you know you deserve and I think we'll all come together one day. That's a message everybody can get behind. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for being here and talking to us about your book and proliferating on these issues. Now, one last thing that I wanted to go through with you, but what in your life specifically has caused you to suffer that you decided to take the time to travel around the world and speak to puppets? about their different hardships, not only to create awareness, but also action in your own community. What caused that? Well, I'll tell you, Shauna. This issue uh, cuts me pretty deep. Its hands have literally touched me. It's because of my hands!
Look at them! They're ugly! You cannot stop staring! Look! Oh, <laughs> 
Oh!